Good morning, everybody. It's kind of early in the morning, but I'm making this video in hopes that somebody that knows how to um, control dogs' behaviors and to um, get two dogs to get along and not be jealous of each other. This is my issue. My boyfriend's mom passed away a little over two months ago. Um, my boyfriend's sister, husband, and son, they all lived in the same house with the mom. Now, his sister has her own three dogs. And the mom lived upstairs and she had her two dogs. But the one dog passed away when she was really sick in the hospital. So she had the one dog left, which is a Chihuahua. Now, um, I'm sure I've posted videos on here before. I have a Chorky, which is a Chihuahua Yorkie mixed. And I have a Yorkie. My Yorkie, she's pretty, she's pretty calm dog when it comes to, um, not really new dogs. I mean, when she's outside, they're both pretty aggressive and they like to bark and run back and forth on the porch. They can't get off the porch. We have chicken wire and, and stuff up. So they can't get off the porch. So when they see other dogs walking by, they bark. When they see people walking by, they bark. Vice versa. You know, all that. Well, anyways, um, his sister, my boyfriend's sister, texted him a little over a month ago um, and said that her one male dog, which is a chihuahua, was acting aggressively toward Pookie, which is our Chihuahua, and he was biting her because he was jealous. Well, this is how I introduced the dogs because I had no other resource to do this. She said, please come pick Pookie up now. She said, I need to get her out of the house because of, of how her dog, her one, just the one dog, was nipping at her and drawing blood, which myself, I don't think this is what was happening, because I'm going to tell you the full I'm going to tell you what I believe. We brought Pookie in. I had put the baby gate between the living room and the kitchen. I had the baby gate up for about an hour. I had Pookie stay in the kitchen, and I had my dogs stay in the living room. Izzy, my, cho uh, my Chorky, she was jumping up and down, barking. She wa she was wagging her tail, um, all, like, excited. She wanted to get on the other side of the gate to meet um, Pookie. Well, Pookie is a very, like, skittish, scaredy-cat dog, kind of. And she kind of, like, cowls. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what word to use. And she's got her tail between her legs. She was pretty scared. You know, she's coming in. She's coming into a new home with two other dogs. And my dogs, I'm not saying they own this house. And I'm not saying that they own me because I'm boss. But everything was pretty cool. I took the gate down. Izzy went over to Pookie. Now, this was on the first day. And she's smelling her and everything. And Pookie, she's got her tail between her legs. And... Now, I know not a lot about dog behavior, but I know enough to where I know what I should do with dogs in, in a dominance behavior and in a submissive behavior. And I know that when the dogs have their tail between their legs, they don't want the other dog to smell them. They're not only in fear of them, they don't want to submit. And now I watched a lot of Caesar Milan with the dog whisperer. And I've learned a lot from him over the years watching him. And I stopped watching him a few years ago. Because I, I didn't have a TV. I, you know, had my computer. And I did everything on my computer. YouTube and everything. And, um, so anyways, getting back to the fact of, um, this. Um, Pookie wants to show dominance toward me. And I, hell am I not having that. 
No dog is going to own me. No dog is going to be dominant toward me. I'm top dog. And she's so small. She's so frail. She shakes a lot. She's a scared, like I said, she's a scaredy cat. And when she gets upset, she goes and hides in the bathroom and lays in front of the toilet, which is totally fine. She's totally fine. I would rather her be in another room by herself, sleeping or whatever, not out here with the other two dogs. The thing is, when Izzy and or Zuzu want attention, they'll come up to me and I'll give them scratches and everything. And Pookie has to, she has to poke her nose into me and wagging her tail licking me. And Izzy growls, which is totally understandable, I believe. Because, you know, Izzy wants attention. Zuzu wants attention. Zuzu just, she just jumps down and goes the other way. Because she's very, she's a very um, easygoing dog when it comes to this. But Zuzu, I feel like Zuzu is getting left out. Even though I give her all this loving, I feel Izzy is left out because... Pookie's trying to take over, and I don't want this dog to take over. I want all of them to be a pack together, get along together, do things together, play together, because Pookie's a playful dog. She's a very playful dog, and so is um, Izzy. Zuzu, on the other hand, she'd rather just lay around, you know, I mean, and she plays. She plays her and Izzy play together, and um, they're fine. You know, they're fine together. Sometimes when I give Zuzu a little more attention, now this is before Pookie, Izzy would kind of like give me that look and I'd go over to Izzy and I'd give her kisses and scratches and then she'd be fine with it, you know. You know, they all want love. All animals want love. I don't care what anybody says, you know. Well, they all want attention. So anyways, getting back to the fact of Pookie, she wants to always jump on my lap and lay there and I'm like, no, because I know that's a sign of dominance. I know sometimes it's a sign of affection and everything, but when Izzy wants attention and she's laying on my lap, Pookie has to come over and put her nose into it and get up here. And Izzy growls. Izzy backs away. You know, Izzy is not. Izzy is like, she's a needy dog, but she's not. Where Pookie, I don't know if she's needy and clingy. Or if she's just trying to show a dominant side. I really don't know what's going on. So this morning, I have to put the gate up in front of the stairs to go upstairs to mine and my boyfriend's bedroom. Because she likes to go up there and lay on the bed. Totally understandable when my boyfriend and I are up there. But I don't want her up there by herself. She's peed on the floor. She has pooped on the floor. And I don't know why she's doing that. Because she's really good about peeing and pooping on the papers down here. Because our dogs are inside dogs. They don't go outside unless we go out on the porch. And now that it's cold outside, they don't go outside at all. Um, I can't get them for a walk because of my health issues. And I can't walk more than one together because of how they are. And I don't know if Pookie has ever, ever been walked, to tell you the truth. Because his mom was sediment, uh, I don't, sedentary, I think that's the word I'm looking for, where she would sit in her chair all day and Pookie would be nestled between her and the chair. It's like, like a protection thing. Like, she wants to be protected, but yet, I mean, I don't know, you guys. I don't know with her. So anyways, um, I know sometimes they say... <laughs> One time, I, I watched, I don't know who it was, I don't know if it was the um, Dog Whisper, the Caesar Milan, or whatever, but I know that if you raise the dog's tail, that's got the tail between his leg, unless the other dogs smell her, but that that's a sign of submission, that they have that to submit to the other dog. Well, Pookie won't have none of it. When I lift her, when I lift her tail up, she gets all frightful, and she jumps off the couch, and she goes into the other room. She doesn't want to have any any of it and I feel bad for Izzy because Izzy is a very playful dog Izzy is a very good dog and I'm telling you she's a really good dog and, and so is Zuzu I mean they're very both well they're both well-mannered dogs never had an issue with either one of them even when they're on the porch if they bark too much 
I throw them in the house until the person or the animal walks by. And they know. They know better. So anyways, this morning, getting to the point here, um, my boyfriend left for work. And usually, I always hold Izzy in my arms every morning to watch him leave because she, you know, she loves her daddy. And she always comes in the kitchen, you know, to, um, to see him off. So I always pick her up. And when I pick her up, you know, we wave out the window, wave bye to daddy, you know, and everything. And once the car's gone out of sight, um, I bring her in the living room and I lay her on the couch. And then she goes whatever she wants to do. Well, this morning, um, well, with almost every morning, um, the gate wasn't put up in front of the stairs, between the stairs. And when I put Izzy down on the couch, I seen Pookie standing in the hallway looking up the stairs. I said, don't you dare go upstairs. And she knows better. She knows she cannot, is not supposed to go upstairs when I'm not up there, he's not up there, or anybody's up there. So she ran up the stairs as fast as she could, and I ran up after her, and I said, Pookie, no. I might have yelled a little louder. And I said, Pookie, no, like that. And she got on almost her stomach and crawled and she peed all over the floor. She had her tail between her legs. She's shivering. And when I went to go pick her up, I think she thought I was going to hit her or something. I would never hit my dog. I would never hit a dog. It's, it's not, it's not something that's in me. I mean, I might take my finger and, you know, poke them in the neck not hard though. Just, just to tap them out of what they're doing, you know, and it usually stops them. And, um, but I didn't even do that with her. I picked her up, I brought her downstairs, and I put the gate up, and then she ran right into the bathroom, and she's been in the bathroom since. I, I know it wasn't the best thing how we had integrated them and made them meet, but it was my only option. I couldn't take them out and walk them because of my health issues, like I said, I have um, neuropathy really bad in my legs, and I have bone spurs. I can only be on my feet so long, and I get a lot of pain in my feet within, I'm not kidding you, within two, three minutes of walking. So, <laughs> I need some help from a dog person, somebody who knows about dogs, somebody who knows on what to do after the fact of them being in the house how to have these dogs get along i know izzy would get along with her fine she doesn't want to get along with izzy she wants to show dominance she wants to do her thing she's acting like she owns this house spooky does and i told jason last night i said i you know i said i'm so upset i'm heartbroken because Izzy won't lay in between us on the bed anymore. Because Pookie has claimed Izzy's spot. Zuzu stays at the end of the bed. You know, she used to come up next to me and cuddle me. She won't do that. Because as soon as she does, Pookie's on me and Zuzu jumps off the bed. And then Zuzu, when it was time for me to go to bed, bed Zuzu would have me pull, put her up on the bed. And she'd lay right, she'd nestle like right in here on me. And she would love me. She'd give me kisses and she would, you know, she would like hug me. It, it, like she would get as close as she could to me. because, And then she would give me like this, this like really weird like noise. I don't even know how to do the noise. But um, I know that means she loves me and she's my dog. I mean, even though she was my boyfriend's dog first, um, she needed more attention than, you know, just as much as Izzy does. But Izzy is more of a needy dog than Zuzu. So, you know, I think, you know, my boyfriend gave her a little more attention than Zuzu. And Zuzu just needed a mom. You know, she needed somebody else. So we had the perfect family. We had the perfect family with our two, fam our, our two perfect dogs. Now we are trying to get Pookie to be a perfect dog with them so they all get along well. And it's just not happening. It's been over a month. I believe it was like, oh my God, the beginning of October when um, I brought Pookie home. I know integrating them how I did, how we did, 
was not the right thing to do, not the best thing to do, but that's the only thing I could do. I didn't have help because he's at work. I didn't have help with getting these dogs to be calm with each other first. I didn't have it. So if anybody out there that is a dog trainer, um, such as Caesar Milan, any kind of dog trainer, any kind of dog whisperer, anybody who knows what to do after the fact, can somebody please help me? I am looking for so much help. Please, please, please. Thank you so much for understanding this matter. Thank you so much if, you know, you, if you leave a comment, um, if you know what to do, leave a comment. I, I would so gladly appreciate it because I can't live like this anymore. It's making my anxiety worse. It's making my depression worse. And, it's hard. It's hard because Pookie's a good dog, too. Pookie's a, a, you know, she's a good dog, and I love her, too. But I just want all three to be able to live together, to not dominate over another, not one trying to dominate me. I'm, I'm not all about that. I want three loving dogs. Three loving dogs. So if anybody knows how to help me in the situation... Um, could you please comment, um, could you please email me, um, my email is hope and H-O-P-E-A-N-N 1970 at gmail.com, um, if you have a video that you can send to me in my email or whatnot, I would gladly appreciate it, so if you guys, please subscribe, um, if you want to see more videos on these dogs, you know, once I can get all of them under control, give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it. And just, I, I just need some help, you guys. I just need some help. So um, share this video if you know anybody who knows what to do. Share it with them. Maybe they can help. Because you guys, really, I need a lot of help. And I'm usually really good with dogs. I'm usually really good with dogs. But this situation is out of control. And I know I need help from my boyfriend. Because when he comes home from work, just like I was telling my sister this morning, when he comes home from work, Izzy wants, you know, all this attention. Pookie wants attention. Zuzu wants a little of attention. But as soon as he gets on this couch and Izzy, you know, wants attention, Pookie comes up and throws herself on his chest and acts like she's top dog. And Izzy gets mad. Izzy growls. And I know it's a dominance thing with Pookie. And I'm, I am I, I can't have any of this, you guys. I, I need a happy home. Please help me have a happy home. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And I hope somebody can help me. Bye.